My planet Arrakis is so beautiful when the sun is low. Rolling over the sands, you can see spice in the air. The outsiders ravage our lands in front of our eyes. Cruelty to my people is all I've known. What's to become of our world? It wasn't until this version of the story that I realized it is basically Lawrence of Arabia. It's it's the white savior who comes in and, and helps the oppressed rebel against the government that he initially represented. Yeah, um, and at the end, at the end of the day, like Lawrence of Arabia. He becomes Lawrence, the tragedy of Lawrence is that he, be, he, he realizes he has been an instrument of colonialism all the way. Mm -hmm. And I think that the thing about Dune is what I, I like is, is what it makes relevant and, and important to do for me is that it's a, it's a criticism of, of, of this savior figure. I mean, it's, like, it's not an apology of the savior figure, it's really like a criticism. Paul Atreides is, is an anti hero, is a dark savior is someone uh, not a savior is the opposite is someone mm -hmm. that will bring calamity to the world it's someone that will bring chaos to the world and he knows that and and and, uh, and uh, his love for the Fremen culture will be uh, something that will be dreadful and bring uh, hell to the to... And so it's like it's like uh, that kind of tragic that, that that's what makes it relevant I think so. yeah and it's a, an interesting needle to thread which you do immediately by you know, casting the Fremen entirely with people of color. And the first face we see in the film is a black person. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the line, I mean, obviously the Harkonnen are as white as they get because they don't see the sun and all of that, but it, it's just a, a really clear visual metaphor. And then you've got the, the slipperiness of the Atreides house where characters aren't, are, they're, they're crossing the, the representational barrier. Paul himself is white, but Oscar Isaac isn't, is Latin, Latino effectively, Jason Momoa is there to sort of destabilize everything. And I, I found myself wondering um, whether, I mean, you're, make, you're clearly making a film about a, you're, you're interpreting a colonialist novel through a sympathetic lens to the, to the indigenous people, to the, to the, uh, to the oppressed, yeah. which is very, very clear. But I was wondering whether the fact that Momoa has the most life to him as as Duncan Idaho, who's just, he's clearly the person who just bursts like sunshine wherever he is, which really surprised me because I loved the fact that he doesn't even try to modulate the tone of the film or, or, or match the other actors. He's just there being a, a big human presence in the middle of this this fairly gray world. Was that, I mean, is that what appealed to, to you about him or was that a larger commentary in, in the structuring of the cast? Well, I needed that kind of charisma, that kind of, of energy charge, that boost uh, uh, Duncan Idaho is, is uh, known to be uh, in the book like a, 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 one of the best fighter, but also something with a tremendous charisma and mm -hmm. someone that will burst. He, he, he represent the adventure and the, the he's like the uh, uh, la, in French we say l'aventurier, the adventurer. I don't know that mm -hmm. the, he's the hero figure, the true hero figure, and the, and the, and and the, I needed someone that will bring that kind of. Uh, boost and 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 and, and uh, solar energy into the, the drive into the, the that's what is the character in the novel and, and uh, is the less uh, a lot of a, a character like paul is at the beginning of the, of the story more in the it's not in the driving scene driver seat mm -hmm. uh, he's a major that uh, uh, deals with the, the consequences of the all the adults around him making the decisions so he's more in, 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 in introspective uh, and more a character dealing with introspection and, 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 uh, and uh, receiving what the other people are doing. But uh, uh, and will slowly, as the movie unfolds, slowly become like Duncan. Yeah. Well, he's also our guide initially into the Fremen world and someone who, you know, he's accused of going native because he embraces their cause or at least is sympathetic to them, and. That's I, that was the meat of the film for me. So I was more invested in his story, I suppose, just because I know where Paul's is going, and I wanted to see how you handled this world of 
you know, it's North African influenced. It's very, it felt like incendie to me. It felt like there was a, a continuum there of the worlds that you've built. I, I tried <clears throat> to build, the, to bring the world to, to the screen like, like uh, I, I, I did dream about it when I read the book. Mm -hmm. And I, I tried to be as close to Frank Herbert's description. And I, I was feeling that the, the casting and the, the way I brought it was there's something that felt authentic and honest to me. And uh, um, good science fiction is science fiction that uh, is uh, either a mirror or either a criticism of, of uh, our reality. And, and that's why I tried to do it with it. Yeah. Um, well, it felt to me as well that you and, and Dennis Goulet's Night Raiders are, are sort of in communication with each other about where we are now, as you say, versus where we could be. And they're both sort of colonial narratives or they're, they're colonization narratives from the position of the colonized, ultimately, mm -hmm. that, that side with them. And so I wanted to ask where the second film, if you get to make it, where does that go? I mean, how, how aggressively will you push the metaphor in your film? But I think that uh, listen, it's a good question. I will, I will, I will say that uh, uh, when you do a movie in two parts, it means that you know where you are going to the second part, and and that second part, uh, if ever I had the chance to do it, uh, uh, would be even more exciting for me to make because there's like it's uh, it becomes just more. Uh, I think we go more deeper into the character psyche and and and. Uh, um, much further into the, 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 the subject of the, the colonialism. So uh, uh, I hope uh, uh, I would have the chance to do it. But what you just said, the comment about uh, having uh, um, links with the Denis Boulay movie that I haven't watched yet, deeply excited. And, and yeah. Because I'm looking forward to watch your movie. And, and uh, yeah, I'm just like, uh, it just gave me more, uh, I, I'm just more excited about it. <laughs> If anything happens, 